here is Ripper, Idaho, and here is a Southern Pacific number 6243, and here's where, and here's some Union Pacifics over here, numbers 4375 and 4066 and what's different is that you have a small switcher Union Pacific and it's an SD 40-2 and its number is so let's see if I can get the numbers on it. it looks like it's 3264 here and I think that they're gonna do like some switching with them. I think I don't know, but here you have WAMPs 3918 with WAMPs 4019 and 4041, and earlier there was WAMPs 4039. I'm not sure where it's at now, but here's just the a little preview of the yard. And over there, there's other engines like WAMPs 4040 and the Eastern Idaho, which is 40, no, which is 3524 with 705 over there. And then I don't know if you can see it really well, but here's. And right in between the unions is is um, an ex Canadian national that they might do a repaint to look like WAP's 4019. And and just a little reminder as well, WAP's 4019 was also an ex Canadian national that was now that is now repainted as the Watco colors and let's do it out so yeah there's the Southern Pacific which is a C44 AC so I'm thinking that this Southern must have been the lead because it Looks like it's the front. Now what I'm doing right now is seeing if it still has the original SP logo on it. And it looks like it does not. So and let's get a better view of the 40-2. Yeah, 3264. Is, uh, is that one right there? And so, yep, here's the, the Ripper train yard again. I'm thinking right behind 705 and 3524, it might be, might be WAPS 39, 39, 39, 18, no, that's over there, it's, it's like, Oh, 3916 might be over there. And I think Robert caught, I'm pretty sure Robert Jenkins caught 40, no, not 4019, caught 3918 and 3916 in Jerome one at one time, so go to, if you haven't already subscribed to Robert Jenkins' YouTube channel, then do so, then now we can see his video of 30, 391, 3918, 3916, and action in Jerome. Yep.